You probably noticed how days are getting longer as we edge closer to the official start of spring. And if I were to ask you, what day does spring usually start? You'd probably say either March 20th or March 21st. Well, it turns out this year, spring actually begins on March the 19th, less than two weeks away. And that's the earliest that spring has started since the year 1896, well over 100 years ago. So what's going on? It's no surprise that Leap Day does play a role, specifically Leap Year Hopscotch. And if you saw one of my recent segments, we discussed why we have Leap Day and this concept of Leap Day Hopscotch. The gist is we skip a leap year if it falls at the start of the century, like the year 1800 or 1900, unless that year is divisible by 400, like the year 2000. That means during leap years since the year 1900, spring has actually been starting earlier and earlier, and the time that spring officially arrives will keep getting earlier every leap year from now until the year 2100, when the calendar sort of resets itself. So it's not by much, it's about a half hour earlier each year. So what does this mean? In the end, you're probably not going to notice very much. It's just another niche on our imperfect calendar.